Hi, welcome to my video on the Osbot Me. Now I am there testing out the Osbot Me to see if I it will track me within my garden. And as you can see, it tracks me quite good with my mobile phone on there. Now I've been looking at other YouTubers who have done reviews on the Osbot Me, but they all seem to use their mobile phone but you can use other cameras on there, but you just have to be cautious when placing them in the clamp. Now, coming up, I have got the GoPro Max. Now this is the GoPro Max on there in this clamp. Now you have to bear it in mind when you place the GoPro Max in there that you have to use one of the cameras facing out. I would not bother placing it in 360. Um, vision otherwise you'll see the actual arm of the Osbot Me on there so you have to place it in hero mode and this is how it will look and it holds the GoPro Max quite well now here it is um, tracking me and following me just got to get it set up but as you can see it tracks me quite well with the GoPro Max and seems to handle the weight of that particular camera. Stop. I have got the Insta One uh, R, and this will go for the One RS as well. Obviously, I've got the 4K lens on there, and it seems to hold that camera just as good as the GoPro Max. I have got the frame on there, but you don't have to use the frame if you don't want to, but I thought I might as well be cautious and just put it in there with the frame attached to the Insta One R. And as you can see, the Osbot Me still tracks me the same way. The weight of the camera does not seem to affect the Osbot Me as I go around the table and it tracks me. And next up, I've got the GoPro Hero 9 and this will go for any GoPro. So you've got the Hero 10 or you've got any of the GoPros up to the Hero 10, it will still fit into this clamp here. And the Osbot Me tracks me just as good with the Hero 9 camera, no problem. And as you can see, this is how I fit it in the clamp. Now, the benefits with the using the Hero 9 or the Hero 10 is because you've got the front facing camera, you can line up your shots using the front screen. So that's the benefit of those two cameras. Now if you use anything up to the Hero uh, 9, you're gonna have to obviously um, gauge your shots. Now next up, I've got the Insta Go 2. And this is a nice camera to place in the Osbot Me because as you can see, it makes it very sleek. The Osbot Me doesn't find, it actually adds no weight to the Osbot Me whatsoever. And it tracks me um, perfectly as I go around the table. As you can see, I've fitted in the clamp and turned the clamp into uh, to the, um, what do you call it again? The landscape position to hold the, Insta Go 2 and as you can see the Insta Go 2 fits absolutely perfect within that clamp it doesn't hardly stretch the clamp when you place the Insta Go 2 in there whatsoever now a couple of things to bear in mind when you place the Insta Go 2 on there it does heat up quite a lot because of the foam backing to the clamp so please bear that in mind um, you'll probably get about 15 minutes of um, shots, um, video, um, before the camera says that it's too hot. It's because of the foam backing to that clamp. But here it is on its side and with the arm out to its side and it doesn't affect the, Oz, the Ozbot, me, anyway. Now I've got the GoPro Max on its side on the Osbot Me, if you want to take um, kind of Instagram stories or Facebook story pictures, 
One thing I did notice with the GoPro Max on its side, it does seem to kind of, the Osbot Me still tracks me, which is no problem, but it seems to jerk a bit. So this is how it looks when you've got the GoPro Hero 9 in the Osbot Me. And I have got it literally on linear, so this is not wide, this is linear. And as you can see, it's a nice smooth um, pan action as it follows me around the garden. Now I'm literally about, I would say probably about four in the corner, four or five meters away, coming back around about three meters. And it seems to pick me up quite well. Now next up, I'm gonna show you how it looks with the Insta Go 2. Now this is the GOAT, Insta Go 2 on there. And as you can see, it picks me up quite well. I'm about, from the camera, about three meters as I go around the table, walking out to about four there. When I get into the corner, it will be about five meters. And as you can see, I'm going backwards and forth, showing my back. And the Osbot Me tracks me quite well. Has no problem tracking me and keeping me in the middle of the frame. Absolute, it's absolutely brilliant with the Go 2, more than with any of the other cameras. So this is a quick summary. The the Osbot Me can take these cameras, as long as you keep it in a have a good tripod base, and you. Uh, and it's not windy, like today you can see it's not windy. It can hold those cameras quite well and still track you when it needs to. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. I perfectly understand. Sometimes my videos can be long or they can be short, but I like to go into the detail so when you buy the item or the product, you know what to expect. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.